Thanks for joining everyone. It's Andrew from iDownloadBlog here with Aki2. Now everyone kind of assumed that Aki would be dead and useless once the newer versions of iOS came out that had built in Quick Reply. Well, here with Aki2, not only have they made Quick Reply better, but added Compose, which is not available at all inside of iOS, but now it can be. Let's take a look first at how it has improved Quick Reply. So you'll see a message pop in from the top of your screen like you normally would. You can pull down to access that message, but first you'll notice that the profile image from that contact is on the left hand side as well as an image picker so you can send attachments from here within Quick Reply and not from within the messaging app itself. Tapping in the blurred area below will reveal two more options, mark as red and remind me later, which both do what they sound like. One will just remind you about the message and the other will remove that uh, unread notification from the messaging app itself. Now while adding on to Quick Reply is fantastic, what's even better is the addition of composition. Open up Notification Center or use an activator gesture, pull down from the top and access composition. You can search for anyone in your contact list or a new number completely and it will color code blue or green based on whether or not iMessage or text messages are available. You can obviously see the profile images, see the profile images and you can compose your message or attach an image or attachment like you could before. And of course, just like in previous Aki, you can swipe back and forth and see the last three messages in the conversation so you always know where you are before you hit send. Aki 2 is available inside of the Big Boss repo for only $149, so I urge you to check it out. Let us know what you think of the new and improved Aki 2 down below in the comments. Click on that big red subscribe button. And until next time, it's Andrew from iDownloadBlog.